SSP TV Sports on News 13 with Fred Barletta Jr. Well, can the Marion Phillies do it? That's the big question tonight because uh, they're one game away from the state championship. They've got an even money chance. That's single A girls tonight. It's the Eastern Final. Paul Brudos Club will be at the Geigel Complex in the heart of Reading, where uh, in the first game of a the doubleheader, they're taking on the defending single A state champs from a year ago. That's Steelton High Spire. Now, the Rollers were in the Hazelton area high school, Sam, a little while ago. And also saw Marion a couple times this year. I like the Phillies in this game. If they can do it, punch their ticket to the state championship round. We will wait and see. But that's 6 o'clock tonight down at the Geigel. So they're moments away from starting that one. That's game one of the doubleheader. Meanwhile, out west, North Catholic and Vincenzo Academy will uh, play it off to see who will come out of the west in that one. As far as Triple-A girls, Lancaster Catholic from Charters is the battle tonight. Archbishop Wood in Chartiers Valley in the other half of the bracket. The big one, Quad A Boys. This is the night nap at the Geigel after the Marion game. The Chester Clippers, Central Dolphin. I like the Clippers. That's an easy pick. Meanwhile, other half of the bracket, Lower Marion. They take on Cathedral Prep. Will Prep tries to uh, keep the West in the state championship game. Double A, this is on the boys' side. Holy Cross out of uh, Lackawanna County. They're taking on uh, Emmett Hotep and Beaver Falls and Quaker Valley, other half of the bracket. Now, last night, we had 14 already made their reservations for State College. Archbishop Carroll took out Springford. We said this is the team to beat the state. It will be an all-parochial school final quad A girls as Oakland Catholic won out west. It's going to be an all-parochial final in double A girls. Your Catholic advances. They'll take on Seton LaSalle. Won't be uh, an entirely parochial final in Triple A boys, but half of it is there. Newman Goretti, they advanced last night. They'll take on one four. And finally, in Single A boys, it's not parochial, but it's not public. You got an all charter school final. It's Constitution Charter winners last night. They'll take on Lincoln Park Charters. That's becoming the way of the PIAA. You get three state championships in basketball. Seems that uh, the dying breed are the public schools, particularly to take those Chester Clippers out of it. Well, anyhow, with uh, basketball winding down, we got the spring sports starting. A tennis score to tell you about. MMI preppers took to the court yesterday for the first time, and uh, well, it's early. Yesterday, Crestwood easily defeated them. Straight sets, comments, five, MMI, nothing. Today, down in the Schuylkill League, Huntsville Crimson Tide. They're going to travel to Kutztown. No, they're not taking on the college. That's Kutztown High School. Major League Baseball, well, the Cactus League. Talking about spring training, Russ Kanzler and the Indians had the day off yesterday. Today, they're playing the San Francisco Giants. That game underway as we're talking now. We'll give you the full report tomorrow. So uh, everything's heating up from basketball to spring training to spring sports. Middle of the week, and you know what that means at Bottlenecks. It's steak and ale night. You can choose from a variety of their specialty hand-cut steaks, and it's served with unlimited salad and fries for just $9.95. You can't go wrong. Great beer specials all night long as well. Don't forget, kitchen open midnight seven days a week, and they got those 14 flat-screen TVs. A lot of good fun up at Bottlenecks.